Guitar TV is proud to present. Innovative HR and payroll reporting. In today's presentation, we're firstly looking at the PA Object Manager. We'll firstly introduce ourselves to the PA Object Manager and look at two ways to, that we can use it immediately. No configuration required. Then we'll look at, with a little bit of simple configuration, what it can do for inter simple interactive reporting. And finally, we'll look at what it can do in conjunction with other developments. For example, payroll reporting infotypes. The second part of the query, in another video, will show SAP query. We'll cover off the myths, the do's, the don'ts. We'll cover off creating info user groups and info sets. Just a brief overview, overview. We'll also look at writing a query and using ALV layouts. ALV layouts are the key to making the most out of SAP reporting. And a bit of advanced stuff, like drill down, payroll results, local fields, etc. Firstly, we'll look at two simple scenarios. In the first scenario, we receive an email asking us to check whether the certain people are members of the social club. Now, how would we do that at the moment? We could, of course, be smart and run a report, but more often than not, than not we go to the tools we use every day, like PA20 and PA30. A common approach seen is to print off the email, walk to the printer, click the printout, and place it on your desk with a ruler or a piece of paper across it. Read each number and retype it into SAP. We'll probably want to check the names or numbers been picked up correctly, then choose the info type we want to look at. In this case, we'll be looking at info type 14 to see if there was a deduction for that social club in there. We then need to view or copy out information as required and repeat for the next employee. Again, if there was a large number of information of employees requested, we'd probably take the time to run a report. But just for a small list, more than often than not, we'll probably do it this way. The second scenario is receiving a phone call. Just asking can you if we can just please check that we have or in fact hold home phone numbers all employees in the emergency planning department. Someone's asked the question and they just want to know. Again, how would we do that? A first step would be finding out who is in the emergency planning department. We might look at PPM or OME or run a report. If we ran a report, again, we'd be collecting that report and then retyping the information in so that we can look at the infotype and subtype, in this case, address to view whether the home phone number is maintained. We then repeat the last few steps for each the next employee. Now let's find out how PA Object Manager can make that, those tasks just a little bit easier. We go into, in this case, PA30 and our first task is to turn Object Manager on. Go into settings and go show object manager. It's possible when you went into settings and show object manager it comes across minimized or you got hide object manager because it was already there. In that case just pull object manager out so that you can see it and access it. The first task is to get the list of employee numbers that we want to deal with. In the case of the question about social club membership, that's easy. We just highlight the employee numbers out of the email. Choose pre search. Choose the personnel number field. And paste in the values. 
we see we've got 30 employee numbers there. Employee numbers are now available to us on a list in the work area of the object manager. We can simply transfer the employee number across by double clicking on it. We can now look at the information we require. The easiest way to deal with this one is to just look at the overview of the wage types the person has in Info Type 14. In this case, Ms. Vickers is not a member of the social club. But double clicking on Susan Kinsley, we can see that Susan is a member. Amy Perkins, however, is not. And we can proceed down our list, quickly getting the information we require with a simple double click for each new person we want to look at. No moving out in and out, no retyping numbers, no copying numbers, no trees were harmed in the exercise. Our second question is to achieve the same for all the people in the emergency department so that we can look in this case at their address to look at for home phone numbers. In this case we'll do a search. We'll look for people assigned directly or indirectly to an organisational unit. And we've found our emergency planning department. A tick gets us the list of all the people who either directly or indirectly belong to the emergency planning department. In this case, we'll be looking at their addresses and we'll be looking at their permanent residence address. So we can see that Lazio Lent does in fact have a home emergency phone number. As does Peter Davies. Robert Davies, however, doesn't. If we want to copy or change the record, we're of course in PA30, and we can. So if the person who phoned us was still on the end of the phone, and they have access to these phone numbers, we can ask them to call them out to us and complete the exercise in one go. How does that look like on a chart? We simply copied for the first exercise, the social club members. We simply copied and pasted the numbers into PA Object Manager, and then each checking each record was a simple simple matter of a double click. In the second scenario, we only had one click to move between employees. Even simpler. The nice thing about this is you can work smarter like this using the PA object manager now. No configuration is required. These fields are available as standard as shipped.